The startling truth about Anna Duggar's visit diary. How frequently does Anna Duggar pay visits to Josh? Katie revealed the details of Josh's visitation log in a new Instagram post on Tuesday. She writes, according to records, Anna Duggar has logged 19 visits. The visits were made on nine separate dates. Anna appears to be making the visits externally through a computer and video. Anna is the only visitor logging any time with Josh because these are video calls, and Anna does not have to leave her house to see him. It's likely that she will find it easier to make time to talk to him. Of course, there's no way to know for sure, but visiting him in person would be more difficult, which could affect how frequently the couple see each other. Katie also reveals that Josh's parents and siblings are not listed on the log. It's unclear what's going on and why Jim, Bob, Michelle, and the rest of the family haven't paid Josh a virtual visit yet. Is this an indication that Jim, Bob, and Michelle have accepted their guilty verdict? If they now believe he is guilty, they may refuse to speak with him. Of course, this is all conjecture, and we don't know why Josh's parents and siblings haven't visited him. You may recall that Anna believes he's innocent, so this could explain why she wants to talk to him multiple times a day. If she doesn't believe Josh is guilty, she has no reason to be upset with him or avoid him. So, do you find Anna Duggar's frequent visits to her husband surprising? Do you believe she will continue to pay him visits at this rate? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Why does Josh Duggar have access to a computer? According to the log, these visits are done on a computer with video. As a result, Josh has access to a computer through which he can communicate with his wife and anyone else who wishes to visit him virtually. He may, however, be restricted to only using the computer for virtual visits. Perhaps there are programs on the computer that allow him to restrict what he has access to. Perhaps he is only permitted to use the computer during scheduled visits. So, do you think it's strange that Josh Duggar has access to a computer despite the seriousness of his crimes? Do you believe that the computer he is using has restrictions to ensure that it's only used to communicate with his wife? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Recently, Ginger Duggar and her husband Jeremy Vula went skiing in Pennsylvania after skipping their family's Christmas party. Ginger and Jeremy smiled for the camera while standing side by side in their winter jackets, snow pants, and skis in the first photo. The couple smiled for a selfie on a chairlift in the second photo, which were followed by two videos of the couple skiing down a hill. The post was captioned by Ginger, "We went skiing yesterday and left with no broken bones." I'd say that's a success. Pictured, one of Jared's many wipeouts at least he struck a good pose. Ginger documented the ski trip just days after she and Jeremy skipped her family's Christmas celebration. Could Jennifer Duggar be preparing to take over for his sister Jenna? Jennifer and Madison's photo could be a sign that she's preparing to take over Jenna's role. Jenna's misdemeanor may have influenced whether her siblings trust her with their children. If her siblings are concerned that she will fall asleep while watching her children, they may enlist the help of another family member to babysit. Jessa Sewell reassured fans on Instagram that it was all a mistake and that she still trusts Jenna with her children. But perhaps the rest of the family disagrees, which could explain Jennifer's initiatives. So, do you think Jennifer Duggar will take over Jenna Duggar's role soon, or do you believe she was simply assisting with the baby this one time? Let us know what you think in the comment section below.